In 1993, Super Mario Bros. became the first video game to be adapted to a live action movie and also the first to be an absolute failure both commercially and critically. Since then, we've seen countless other games turned into both movies and TV shows, with some being great, but the majority being downright terrible. Now, in 2024, the iconic Fallout series has received its own show, which had many fans skeptical, but to a great surprise, has turned out to be potentially one of the best video game adapted shows of all time. So let's explore what makes Fallout so great and how other game adaptions can learn from its success. The show takes place in a post-apocalyptic Los Angeles over 200 years after nuclear bombs destroy America as it once was. We follow a handful of characters throughout the show, Lucy, a member of Vault 33 who has spent her entire life living in the vault and goes on a mission into the wasteland for the first time to save her father who's been kidnapped. The Ghoul, also known as Cooper, who's a former movie star turned bounty hunter. Maximus, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel who wants to become a knight. And Norm, who is Lucy's brother that basically just goes through the motions. And although he might not be a main character, plays an essential role in the story as a whole. If you've ever played the games, you know that there are a lot of side quests and characters that you can dive into and meet. The show does a great job of capturing this aspect of the game, which we see with Norm's story as well as other unique and wild characters that pop in and out of the eight episodes. Even though none of the characters are from the games, they still fit right in and totally feel like characters that you would meet in the Fallout series. All of the acting here is top notch and there's so many scenes where emotions are captured so well through facial expressions alone. You really connect with the characters and fall in love with some and hate others with a passion. Even though the story is based on the video game series as a whole, it doesn't retell the stories in the games, but rather creates a whole new piece of lore that adds to the franchise and impacts the entire Fallout world in a huge way. This was an excellent decision by the creators because whether you're a fan of the games or not, you can still enjoy the story being told. This also benefits the show a lot because other video game adaptions that try to retell stories from their games usually fall flat and leave fans disappointed. It still takes on the themes of the games but explores them in new and interesting ways. There's a lot of backstory that we learn in the show and it's told by cutting between the past and present day and answers a lot of questions about what led up to the nuclear war and the people responsible. These scenes from the past start to connect with things going on in the present day and it's almost like putting a puzzle together and as the pieces start to come together you begin to see the bigger picture. It's really well thought out and all of the little pieces of information fall right into place at the perfect time. The story is fresh and exciting and really adds a whole new layer to Fallout that even the biggest fans of the series can appreciate. Something that works really well for the show is that it doesn't care if you've played the games or not. Whereas a lot of video game based shows get caught up trying to explain the world and how things work, Fallout doesn't do this at all. Instead they let you figure out how these things work as you progress through the show, so if you haven't played the games before, you're still able to follow along. This allows for each episode to focus on the stories and characters rather than having filler scenes or entire episodes that are just trying to explain everything. It keeps people who are new to the series curious about the world and wanting to learn more about it, and this is true not only for the gadgets and weapons, but also the characters and how the world works as a whole. There are plenty of references to the games, but they don't just stick them in your face to be like, hey look, we put this in the show. The references instead play naturally, and it honestly makes you appreciate them so much more. The show really takes a less is more approach. For example, there's plenty of scenes with very minimal dialogue, and some with none at all. If you've ever seen a movie or show where it feels like characters are talking to the audience with very on-the-nose dialogue to get points and information across, this show doesn't do that. It doesn't try to hold your hand and explain everything that's happening or tell you when something is important. It's written in a way where important details and information are fed to the audience organically so you're never pulled out of a scene but rather immersed in it. Possibly the greatest aspect of the show is how well it captures the tone and vibe of Fallout. It's both an apocalyptic nightmare and also a hilarious piece of dark comedy. From the goofiness of the characters to the grungy hot world and awkward dialogue that some might think is just bad writing. You wanna make my cock explode now? But all of this is exactly what makes Fallout, well, Fallout. For fans of the series, there's also plenty of little details from different visuals like the slow motion that's used as a reference to the kill cam in the games, and different sound effects that are iconic to the series as well. 
There's no lack of surprising moments that'll catch you off guard as well as plenty of violence that is not held back on. Something else the show captures really well is the idea of a person from one of the vaults entering the wasteland for the first time. Lucy comes from a vault that believes they can bring back the United States in the way it was before the bombs dropped. She is super naive about the world above, as are all the characters who haven't left the vaults before. They're all kind, caring, and optimistic about the future and restoring the world to what it once was. Without spoiling Lucy's story, her character arc in the show is excellent. Who she is in the beginning is completely different to who she is by the end. Everything she goes through and learns about changes her perspective on so many things, and she is basically a reflection of the first time someone plays a Fallout game. You go in thinking things might not be that bad, and by the end, you have little hope because the world is truly that brutal and awful. The show does a fantastic job at showing this contrast between the people in the vaults and the people in the wasteland and what happens when those two worlds finally merge. Even though the Fallout show might not be perfect, the few flaws that it does have are so small because the show gets so much right. It absolutely stays true to the source material while adding a whole new layer to the franchise. The story is fun with plenty of action and silly moments. There's a huge amount of surprises and twists and all of the characters are excellent and fit into the world extremely well. The ending to the show is really exciting and I can't wait to see what the next season will bring. If Fallout can accomplish what it did in its first season, Season, it might possibly go down as one of the greatest video game based shows of all time. There's a lot to learn from this series and I hope other video game adaptions will learn and be inspired by it. Let me know your thoughts on the first season of Fallout. I would love to hear what you think. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.